It's the Roy Rogers Show. Happy trails to you. It's nice to meet again. Happy trails to you. Until the journey's end. Oh, Sugar Crisp, the cereal treat that's fun to eat, brings you the Roy Rogers Show. Transcribed on the Double R Bar Ranch with Pat Brady and the Queen of the West, Day 11. Happy trails to you. Time to rise again. And here he is, in person, the king of the cowboys, Roy Rogers. Well, howdy, folks. Here's my good word for today. It's about a honey of a new cereal, Post Sugar Crisp. And it's my hunch you'll like it just as much as we do out here at the Double R Bar Ranch. You see, Post Sugar Crisp is just downright good eating. And it's good so many different ways. Try it real soon, won't you? Now, tonight, Dale and a friend of hers plan to surprise me, and they sure do. According to a cowboy's philosophy, when two women get together, it's pretty sure to end up in a conspiracy against the male sex. And you know, if you heard Dale Evans and her friend Katie Hart in the Eureka Cafe right this minute, you'd be likely to agree. Roy's jacket's in this bundle. He hasn't missed it yet, has he? Well, he hasn't had any reason to dress up for the past few days. I'm sure he doesn't know I sneaked it out of his wardrobe. Oh, the new one turned out slick as grease would. Oh, good. It's the same white buckskin. It's embroidered just exactly like his old one. Now, when can you and Roy come over so I can give him his new jacket? Well, let's see. Roy said he'd be busy tomorrow getting some stock ready to take into terminal the day after. He'll be back from terminal early, though. How about Wednesday night? Well, we'll have a wingding. And, um, hey, bring Pat along for me. Pat? Say, what'll Jack Waddell think? Who gives a hoot what he thinks? He's just my foreman. But he's certainly jealous of Roy. Oh. I made him model the jackets while I was making the one for Roy. He hit the ceiling. (laughs) (laughs) I'll sneak this old jacket of Roy's back with his thing some way. And I'll guarantee you that when he gets the new one, it'll be a complete surprise. Hey, Pat, get your head out of that Nellie Bell's motor and let's get started with this branding. Oh, I just want to get her running again, Roy. Hey, there's a couple of Katie's crossbred Bramas running with our stock. Those darn things sure are hard to keep fenced. I'll have her fixed in a minute now. That one steer's mighty interested in either you or Nellie Bell, Pat. He's really glaring at you. Can't be anything really wrong with it. Started up fine this morning. In fact, he's coming over to investigate right now. Better straighten up, Pat. You're a perfect target. Ah, there. I think she'll run. Now, Roy, what were you saying about Katie's bravers? Oh, oh, Roy. Oh, hi, Trigger. I'll stop him right now. Hey, Roy, my gosh, you're bulldogging that critter. Let me give you a hand. I guess I can get him, Pat. There. He wasn't so tough. He's just a small one. Well, he's big enough to buck Nellie Bell into the middle of next Tuesday. Uh, do you want me to tie him up, Roy? Yeah, if he's going to be honorary, he'd better just lie here while we take care of our brand. We'll drive him and his partner back to Katie's spread when we finish. Maybe we won't have to. Here comes Waddell and old Fred now. Maybe they're out looking for the strays. Oh, hi there, Jack. Oh. Hi, Fred. Howdy. You come to pick up these wonders of yours? Are you calling them wonders now? How do you like that, Fred? Well, I don't know. Yeah, this critter of yours took sort of a shine to Nellie Bell. <laughs> Only it was the kind of a shine that would have been dangerous for her. We thought we'd leave him tied up here while we took care of our own branding, but as long as you're here, we'll do some branding, huh? You sure you weren't going to try to change your brand? That's <laughs> silly, Jack. I wouldn't have one of these things on my place. That is, I wouldn't if they'd stop wandering over here. Fred, I want you to remember what you saw here today. 
Two head of our stock over here and one of them down ready for branding. Sure, sure. I'll remember, Mr. Waddell. Rogers, you seem to think you're king of Paradise Valley. If I were you, I wouldn't go too far. <laughs> you must have gotten up on the wrong side of the bed this morning, fella. Money's coming pretty easy for you these days, isn't it, Rogers? At least the boys in the Hollow Well said you spent an awful lot of it over there two nights ago. What are you talking about? I haven't been anywhere near Hollow Wells for weeks. Fancy dresser like you's bound to be noticed, Rogers. All right, let my brain loose and Fred and me will take it home. You cut that other one out of Roger's herd, Fred. Sure, sure, Mr. Waddell. I can tell which one's ours, all right. Hey, Jack, maybe you've got an idea that I coax these steers of Katie's over here. If that's what you think, I'd suggest that you talk to Katie before you do any more thinking. Yeah, I should say so. Katie and Roy's old friends. That's right. Now, here's your steer. I wouldn't take advantage of my friends if I were you, Rogers. I gotta tell the sheriff what I saw here today. Maybe he'll be watching you too from now on. Hey, you steer, you get going. Howdy, Pat. Well, I declare, Sheriff, our coffee urn must be connected to an alarm clock at your office. You get here at eight on the dot. No coffee for me tonight, Pat. Where's Dale? Uh, she went home early. She's fixing up for a special date. Where's Roy? At the ranch doing the same thing, imagine. He went in the terminal today, but he ought to be back by now. Pat, you sure Roy was in terminal today? Yep. And I got to perform the most unpleasant duty of my life. Well, can you tell me about it in a hurry? I was about to close up because I'm going out tonight, too. Now mind you, Pat, I'm not giving you the third degree of anything, but do you know why Roy went to Terminal? Why, to sell a couple of heifers. Herd's getting too big. What kind were they? Herfords. Roy ever raised any of them crossbreed bramers on his place like Katie Hart does? No, doesn't like them. What's this all about, Sheriff? Pat, I'm going to have to go out to the double R bar and arrest Roy. What? A man wearing a white buckskin jacket with a double R bar brand and beadwork on it sold some cattle in terminal this afternoon, had the check made out to Roy Rogers. Well, the white buckskin's Roy's favorite jacket. Probably did wear it. And you told me he never had any of them crossbreed dreamers. But this man sold two of them, both fresh branded with a double R bar. And Jack Waddell told me that Roy was Brandon yesterday. Sheriff, you know yourself that Roy Rogers... That ain't the worst of it. A man dressed the same way, plus a mask, held up the bank there this afternoon and got away with quite a haul. And I've got no choice now but to go out and arrest Roy. Sheriff, I think you're making an awful mistake. And if I were you, I wouldn't make Roy mad by going out there and springing this on him. What would you suggest I do? I'll dash out and tell Roy that you want him and why. You know Roy Rogers well enough to be sure that he'll come into town and get this straightened out. Well, Pat, I can't believe it about Roy myself. If he wants to come in and talk to me, I'll be in my office until 10 o'clock. After that, I'm coming out to get him. You know, Roy loves animals. And here are three of his animal friends that everyone loves. The three Sugar Crisp Bears from the front of the Post Sugar Crisp Package. Hello there. Got a word for the folks? We've got three words. Try Sugar Crisp. Wise words. Sugar Crisp is the cereal treat that's fun to eat. It's made of nourishing puffed wheat and candy coated with sugar and honey. And you'll love it three different ways, like the little bears say. As a cereal, Sugar Crisp is dandy. It's just sweet enough. You don't need sugar. Just pour on milk or cream. And for snacks, Sugar Crisp is so handy. Any time of the day or night. Right again. And... And you can eat Sugar Crisp just like candy, right out of the box. We love it. Everybody loves Sugar Crisp. It's a delicious cereal treat any way you eat it. So, Mother, when you're buying a cereal, remember what the three Sugar Crisp bears say. As a cereal, it's dandy. For snacks, it's so handy. Or eat it like candy. Post Sugar Crisp. You'll find genuine Post Sugar Crisp only in the red, white, and blue package with the three bears on front. Buy Sugar Crisp tomorrow. <laughs> Thank you.
The sheriff makes an unbelievable accusation. He tells Pat Brady that Roy Rogers has been seen in Terminal selling stolen cattle with changed brands and robbing the Terminal Bank. It's a few minutes later at the Double R Bar Ranch. My Pat, that's the most ridiculous thing I ever heard. Of course I'll go in and talk to the sheriff as soon as I finish dressing. But he said that they seen you, Roy. You were wearing your white buckskin jacket and a mask and... Well, that proves they were seeing wrong. I haven't worn my white jacket in over a week. But I'm going to wear it tonight. Hey, will you hand it to me? It's hanging over there in the closet. Sure, Roy. I'll get your jacket for you, but... On second thought, I'm not going to rush into town to chin with the sheriff over a lot of nonsense like this. Dale's waiting for me and Katie Hart's waiting for all three of us. And I'm going to the party first. Bullet, quit guarding that door. Roy asked me to get something out of here for you. Hey, you know the sheriff's a great old guy, but he'll believe anything. Here's the jacket. You see, Bullet, this is what I was after. Hey, what's the matter with you? I'm not stealing it. He wasn't growling at you, Pat. Pull that jacket out toward him again. Okay. Hey, cut it out. What's the matter with this jacket, Bullet? You've seen it a hundred times. Yes. You sure you don't want to go in and straighten out the sheriff right now, Roy? Well, if I had anything to hide, I certainly would, but I don't. So he can just wait. Oh, uh, don't say anything about this to Dale, Pat. Come on, let's go. It's sure nice of you all to come over. It's wonderful to be here. I thought maybe we'd sing a few songs and have something to eat. And then later on, I've got a surprise for you, Roy. A surprise? Another one? Why, what do you mean, Roy? Roy is... Yeah, I told Pat not to mention it, and I uh, I guess I won't either. I'm liable to need you for a character witness, though, Katie. A character witness? Roy Rogers, what have you been up to? Oh, well, nothing that I know of, but... Uh... Well, come on, uh, if we're going to sing, let's get to singing. Suits me. Oh, Katie, before we start, have you actually lost any of your cattle lately? Well, I'm not sure. Some of them are always wandering off somewhere. Well, Jack takes care of finding them. Excuse me, Miss Katie. Sorry to bust in you on you like this, but the sheriff's on his way over here. I thought I ought to tell you. Hey, it ain't ten yet. The sheriff's on his way over here? What in the name of Goshen for, Fred? Well, I called him. I was doing my night trick out near the main herd, and a masked man scared me off. And I seen him load two head of our cattle onto that truck. And I recognized the feller. All right. Who was he? It was that Roy Rogers. Oh, oh Roy <laughs> Rogers. Oh, Fred. Roy's sitting right there. Yeah, here I am, Fred. Well, uh, I... Uh, Say, uh, what part of the spread did you uh, see this fellow on, Fred? Well, not more than a mile away. Do west. All right. I'm going out there and see what's happening. I'm going with you, Roy. Trigger and Buttermilk are still saddled up, and Bullet's outside with them. Yeah, I'm going with you, too. So am I. Oh, no. You two stay here. There ought to be someone here to greet the sheriff when he comes. But, Roy, I... Never mind, Pat. I may tell Dale that little secret while we're riding. And when the sheriff gets here, he'll probably tell Katie. Well, come on, Dale. Let's go. All right, Roy, but you just better tell me what's happening. Fred... How can you come in here with a tale like this? Well, Miss Katie, Mr. Waddell told me to keep an eye on that Rogers feller. I was sure I seen him. Pat, you and Roy are both hiding something. Now come clean. Well, it's all a mystery to me, but it seems that Roy's accused of being in a little trouble over in Terminal this afternoon. What? Well, leastways a man in a white buckskin jacket was. Sure, that's how I recognized Rogers, by his white buckskin jacket. I can't understand how that feller can be in two places at once. Wait a minute. What's Jack Waddell been doing today, Fred? I uh, come to think of it, I ain't seen Jack since he ran off this morning. Pat, you wait right here while I go look in my room. And if a certain article is missing, I think I know exactly what to do. <laughs> Roy Rogers, why didn't you tell me? The very idea of accusing you of that. Well, I think it's kind of a joke, Dale. And I didn't want to worry you. 
I just like to know who's got a white buckskin jacket like mine, and I'd like to know who's putting a brand on Katie's cattle. But the moon isn't bright enough to do any tracking tonight. And about that jacket, Roy... This should be just about the place where Fred claims he saw the rustlers in the truck. Maybe we can... Stop, find... you riders! Stop, round fires! The sheriff, where is he? Who? 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 Trigger. Yeah, I can make out some horsemen up ahead. The sheriff must have a couple of deputies with him. Well, all right. Tell him it's us, and we might as well get this thing straightened out once and for all. Hey, you! Identify yourself! Now, you know the sheriff. If he sees me wearing this white buckskin jacket, I'll have to argue with him all night. When they go on to the house, we could come back here, and maybe Bullock could pick up some tracks. We'll buttermilk around. Get low in the saddle and really dig out. All right, Roy. Gee, you know this is kind of exciting. All right, then. Walk your horses up here slowly and keep your hands in the air. Let's go, Dale. Come on, Trigger Boy. Come on, Bert. Hey, stay with that horse. Keep going, Dale. We're with you. You'll just have to wait. Come on, Trigger. What's the idea of the fire in the branding pit, Jack? Why, I don't know, Miss Hart. I was working at the far end of the spread all day. I found it burning here on my way back just now. The fire's pretty fresh. Yeah, I built it up a little. I was cold. I had a little work to do on the truck. Well, if one of your hands was branding, he was pretty careless. You shouldn't leave the irons in the fire like this. No, that'll ruin an iron, Jack. Hey, what's wrong with the truck? You know, I'm a pretty good hand with motor. Oh, nothing much. I'll get it fixed in the morning. Oh, I might as well take a look at it. I'll just hop in the cab here and start her You up. keep away from that truck, Brady. Don't talk to Mr. Brady like that, Jack. Now, I'll take care of these branding irons. Uh, no, look, Miss Hart, I'll do it. I was I've just... I got g- them. Why, wait. One of these isn't a tumbling H iron at all. Hey, Waddale. You left a mighty pretty jacket here in the truck. I didn't know you owned one of these white buckskin numbers. Jack Waddell, what do you mean by taking that jacket without my permission? You know I made it for Roy Rogers. All right, you made it for Rogers. Now, don't move, either of you. There's plenty of light here to plug you by. Get out of that truck, Brady. Well, I... Come on! You never gave me a tumble, Miss Hart. Now, maybe you think you got the goods on me, but it's too late. Get over here. I'll rope you and Brady together. Yeah, you you robbed the bank of Terminal. You've been rustling Katie's cattle right along. Yeah, and I'm gonna see that Roy Rogers takes a rap for it. Jack, you're out of your mind. You were pretty interested in this strange branding iron, Miss Hart. When you put it on top of a tumbling H, it turns a brand into a double R bar. So that's how those steers of Katie's happen to be wearing a double R bar brand. I'm going to brand the two I got in the truck right now. I'll leave them on Roger's spread, and then the three of us will start for somewhere. Where do you think you're going with us? I'll get rid of Brady, and then I'll get rid of you, too, unless we'll... Maybe you'll forget this whole thing and start over with me. I got a stake now. And... Jack Waddell, how can you dare? Help! Help! Don't scream again, Katie. These irons are red hot. We'll be with Roy in a second. First, listen to this cheery melody. We're the Sugar Crisp Bears and we want you to meet the grandest treat. You ever did eat Post Sugar Crisp. As a cereal, it's dandy. For snacks, it's so handy. Or eat it like candy. Post Sugar Crisp. Yes, Sugar Crisp is a honey of a new cereal. And the three Sugar Crisp bears are right. It's wonderful three different ways. As a cereal, it's already pre sweetened. You won't need sugar, just milk or cream. And Sugar Crisp is the perfect between meal snack. Or eat it like candy right out of the box. Made of nourishing puffed wheat, it has a candy coating of energy-rich sugar and honey. That's why Sugar Crisp is so good. Buy Post Sugar Crisp in the red, white, and blue package with the three bears on it tomorrow. Hoo-hoo-hoo, Gregory. You better leave the horses back here in the shadows and edge your way up to the fire. Hey, I hope Bullet knows what he's doing. He certainly insisted that we follow the trail he picked up. Bullet's been acting strange ever since I put this white jacket on. Roy, about that white jacket, you know... Shh, shh. Can you make out what's going on around the fire? Well, the man looks like he's getting a branding iron ready. It'd be hard to brand all by himself. I don't see any cattle. Well, they could be in the truck. 
Wait. There are two people tied near the fire. Roy, it's Katie and Pat, and the man with the irons is Jack Waddell. Who's that? Stay back there. Don't move. And don't you move, Waddell. I've got you covered. My guns are on you, too. Roy, Dale, I was never so glad to hear your voices. Oh, boy, Pat, we're out of this one. You aren't out of anything. Rogers, you and that girl throw your guns over here. And call off your dog. Don't talk nonsense, Waddell. You haven't got a chance. And neither of your friends. Throw your guns out or I'll slap these branding irons on. And keep that dog quiet. I mean it. Easy there, Bullet. Roy, shoot the irons out of his hands. Dale, the light's flickering so, and it's, it's hard to see. And Don't worry I'm... about us, Roy. Just get Waddell. Try it, Roy. You've got to. Give me those guns and give yourselves up. Throw them down, Dale. He'll be off his guard for just a second. All right, Waddell. Here comes our guns. Don't do it, Roy. It'll be all right, Pat. Now, Bullet, stay back here. That's better, Rogers. Now, come on out with your hands up. Come on, Dale. I'll come out with my hands up, Waddell. But I won't keep you very... <clears throat> Roy, no! Them irons are white hot. Roy, careful! You're not as strong as I am, Rogers. They'll put a brand on you you'll never forget. Go ahead and try it. You're going to drop those irons right back in that fire. Go on, drop it. Roy, you're getting him. You're getting him. Now. Roy, you did it. Now, Waddell, let's see who's stronger without weapons. I'll handle you any time, Rogers. Roy, be careful. You're so close to the fire. Oh, Pat, can Roy do it? Jack claims he's never been licked in a fight. Well, he's gonna be, and right now. You take quite a punch, don't you, Waddell? I give better than I take two. I'll see you take this one. Now, well, Pat, let's get some ropes on this cookie. He won't stay down long. He's pretty tough. Well, I can't rope him till I get these ropes off me. Here we go, Roy. I'll help you with it. I'm not through yet, Rogers. Yes, you are. I don't know what you've been up to. But no one can threaten my friends like you did and get away with it. Now, Katie, Pat, we'll get you loose. There. Now, what was happening out here? Well, we thought we'd surprise you and Roy by catching a rustler and a bank robber all at once. Only we got surprised ourselves. What's all this business about surprises? You two gals are cooking up something, and it's about time you told us what it is. Well, it isn't exactly cooking, Roy. Katie's been doing some sewing. Your surprise is in the cab of the truck, Roy. I guess it isn't exactly brand spanking new anymore, but I sure hope you like it. <laughs> you better go get it yourself, Roy. Don't send bullet after it or it's liable to be even less new. Hey, what's this? My white buckskin jacket. It can't be. I've got it on. Katie made you a new one, Roy. We both figured your old one was getting pretty tired. Hey, why, well, this is wonderful. It's beaded and embroidery just like my old one and everything. And this is a wonderful surprise. Hey, we are over here. Don't move. Uh-oh. The sheriff and his men, they've caught up with us. <laughs> there you are, Roy. I got to talk to you. All right, Sheriff. I was just about to come in town to talk to you. Roy, I can't tell you how I hate to do this, but I got to arrest you on charges of rustling, selling stolen cattle, and bank robbery. You going to give up peaceable? Yeah, I'll give up peaceable. Sheriff, I don't think it'll be necessary for you to arrest Roy. Nope. Roy's not only got a rock-bound alibi, but he's captured the man you're really looking for. I was hoping something like that had happened. If you'd been guilty, Roy, I would have been real surprised. You wouldn't have been as a surprise as we would, Sheriff. Well, I guess we've all had enough surprises for one day, but I sure like mine. That's all for now, folks. This is Roy Rogers saying to all of you from all of us, goodbye, good luck, and may the good Lord take a liking to you. See you next week. Happy trails to you Until we meet again The Roy Rogers Show was brought to you tonight by Post Sugar Crisp, the cereal treat that's fun to eat. Fellas and girls... Remember Roy's good advice and ask Mom to bring home post-sugar crisp. 
in the red, white, and blue package with the three bears on the front. You'll love Post Sugar Crisp. The Roy Rogers Show can be heard again next week at the same time with Pat Brady, Dale Evans, and the king of the cowboys himself, Roy Rogers. An art brush production written and directed by Fran Van Hardisfeld with music by Milton Charles. Come and get it! Come and get it! For quick two-minute energy for work and play, how about Grape Nuts Flakes? How about them? How about them? How about those Grape Nuts Flakes? How about those Grape Nuts Flakes? How about them? How about them? How about those Grape Nuts Flakes? They are so good, good for you, too. The two-minute energy works for you, so how about them? How about them? How about Grape Nuts Flakes? Grape Nuts Flakes is one of the triple-wrapped post cereals. Guaranteed fresh or triple your money back. Look for Grape Nuts Flakes, the great two-minute energy cereal in the package with Roy Rogers and Trigger on the front. Featured in today's cast were Frank Hemingway, Herb Butterfield, Tom Holland, Tim Graham, and Katie Lee. This is Art Ballinger speaking for Post Sugar Crisp. Stay tuned for the latest news brought to you by Log Cabin Syrup. <laughs> 